Hey everyone, it's John here from CNS Outdoors on uh, Facebook and YouTube. Hey, uh, it's springtime, birds chirping, fish are out there ready to be caught. Uh, my boat is out of storage now, so um, one of the things I've struggled with is getting in and out of my boat um, at the trailer. Some of these boat launches, uh, you got to back in so far that you're up in the water, um, even when you don't. Um, when you got to get up and in before you take off, um, getting off uh, the ground or off the trailer into the boat can be kind of difficult. And, and I'm a guy that's had a knee replacement, so it's even uh, worse for me. But I wanted to show you a little something that I came across. I did find it on YouTube early from a different channel, so I can't take credit for this. And I'm going to put a little disclaimer out there that this is not what it is intended for. But... When you see these boat steps that are uh, on these bass boats, walleye boats, and even, you know, some of the pleasure boats, um, they're about four or $500. And this whole setup that I'm doing is less than a hundred bucks. So I just wanted to take you along, show you what I did. I'm not gonna really take you on to the installation just because of the fact that um, I don't wanna bore you with watching me drill some holes and uh, end up turning around and tightening bolts. I don't think that's what you need to, to see. So with that said, let me show you what I've done. So here's the things that I purchased to uh, make this adaptation of a step for myself. I got myself off of Amazon, uh, this economy spare tire carrier, and then I got the trailer step. And the other thing here that I've got and I have to install yet is a little bit of a handle that I'll be putting on and it'll go in like so and that will allow me to grab a hold of something so I'll show you when that's finally done as well uh, you don't need a whole lot um, all these parts came with these uh, these products that I purchased so you'll have them um, there was only two bolts, excuse me, three bolts that I needed to purchase. And there's these bolts right here that you can see. Now those are a, a 3 8 bolt size wise and I think they were two inches long. And then I purchased the lock washer and the nuts that go in behind them. So when it came time to add these bolts here, there's two here and then you can see the one down here. Um, this one and this one I had to drill out so that those two would fit and go in and then I used this one hole but I did have to drill this out just a touch as well to make sure those bigger bolts fit. I didn't want some wimpy wimpy bolts in there. I wanted something that was going to be able to hold the weight so the three A's were just fine. But this step has made it pretty easy and when I get done here I'll show you exactly what I did um, to the whole thing and how much easier it is going to be to get in and out of the boat. So for the handle, uh, the handle right here it is a half off, uh, excuse me, that's a half inch two foot pipe that I bought, steel pipe. Um, I wanted something that was sturdy. Now I'm not going to be using all my weight on this but I had to have something that was going to be sturdy to grab onto. With that, you're going to want the, the uh, half inch flange so it can screw in there because you'll need to screw this pipe in. And then I got the, a number 14 three quarter inch self tapping screws to put into the boat itself. So before you put on this, uh, this flange as your base where the pole is going to screw in, make sure that you uh, you drill some pilot holes into the boat. But when you do, if you got lights or anything that are up here, make sure that the wiring isn't going to run into them. That's, I use three quarter inch bolts uh, or three quarter inch tap self tapping screws. Uh, make sure my wiring isn't going to be affected because if you drill or put the screws in, you could end up, you know, putting a little uh, 
it'll catch into your wiring and you don't want to do that. So just a little word of advice when you're putting these in here is to make sure you got the, uh, the holes where you want them, the pilot holes. So I made sure that that base and the pole was not going to interfere with uh, the use of my trolling motor going up and down. And when I get in the boat, I'll pull this pole out anyways. It, it screws in and out, and that's what I wanted. The base is nice and flat. So again, nothing to interfere with. And now I've got that handle that I can use. All right, so I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about now, how much easier it is to get up and in the boat. coming down makes it that much easier so Tracy's going to show you how much easier this is uh, but I, I did it myself I just want the microphone you can see how she can get up and in that much easier and getting in and out and down as well so it's uh, it's made a lot easier to get in and out of the boat and one thing I want to stress is this handle that I put up there we're not putting all of our weight on it um, it's just as a guide just so you got something to hold on to but um, just wanted to make sure you understood that's not something that I wanted to put a lot of my weight on so uh, as a bonus here I wanted to show you something that I've done too this has made my anchor rope a lot cleaner as I went and I bought these cable cuffs you can get them at the hardware store this one happened to come from Home Depot but um, just about all of them have them and it's made that rope you know staying in one spot so much easier these cable cuffs are awesome and I use them on my extension cords on my boat rope you name it so that's another little uh, bonus tip of how to modify your boat and keep it a little easier to use so I hope this helps you out uh, this tip again just remember it is not, a, uh, not necessarily made to be a step, but I haven't found it to be any problem getting in and out of the boat, as you could see. And uh, so that's my disclaimer on this, but for $100, it's a heck of a lot cheaper than it would be to buy one. So with that said, hope you like these tips, tight lines, and shoot straight, everyone.